Chancy Plagman writes, Hey, MC Movie Talk, I've been watching for over two years now, and watching your show is a great stress reliever. As a comic book movie fan, I'm looking ahead and seeing that in July 2018, we have the following. July 6th, Black Panther. July 13th, Untitled Fox slash Marvel film. July 20th, Sony's animated Spider-Man film. And July 27th, Aquaman. <laughs> Would you consider this overdoing it to have four big films back to back to back to back? Big films? No. Comic book films? Yeah. Yeah, probably. That that might be a bit much. I, to be honest with you, I was totally kind of oblivious to that. I just knew 2018 was going to be a big year. I didn't realize that right now there are four comic book films being released in one month. Well, I'd say I'm going to have a great birthday month. That's, yeah. I mean, that's going to that make a great awesome. month. But I, I think that's unsustainable. Sustainable. As far as like, you can have four big blockbusters and they can feed off each other. I'm a little bit worried about four of the exact same genre. I'm a little bit worried about it. Doesn't mean it can't work, but this reminds me a little bit about when Captain America Winter Soldier and Batman versus Superman was scheduled for the same date right. and there was that game of chicken. Someone's got, at least one's got to move a little bit. I mean, I, I just don't know. Or think about, remember last year we had that magical moment where you could look at the marquee and there was like X-Men Days of Future Past, Captain America, Winter Soldier, and The Amazing Spider-Man 2, all playing at the, the same, same time. time. Yeah, good point. I mean, it was so much fun just as a, as a comic book fan, like, you know, having grown up re reading all those comics, to be able to see all those films, and and two out of three were amazing. So it was like worry <laughs> about, about the cannibalization. And again, these are some competing studios, too. Yes. I mean, it, particularly what's interesting is that Spider-Man comes out a week before Aquaman. Like, if I'm Aquaman, I'm getting real nervous. Yeah, but it's the Spider-Man animated feature. It's the Spider-Man animated yeah. feature, so that's not the actual Spider-Man film. If I'm Aquaman, I'm no longer nervous. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not nervous. I would change the title of Aquaman to Spicy Larry. <laughs> Mesa, Mesa now called Spicy Larry. Come and join. If, if you could get Jason Momoa to speak in that voice for that's Aquaman, right. that would be brave filmmaking. Yeah, it would be the most insane thing. Like, how did they even convince him? He's like, Misa don't know. <laughs> He's a spicy Larry. He's riding a dolphin. He's a spicy Larry. <laughs> this is a great film. If, we would pay up to. I will scalp tickets to see that movie. You know, this is like this isn't an Aunt May situation. No. It's just going to come out in three thousand theaters normally. This movie, this is an event. Yeah. This should play staples. Global. I'm just trying to see Jason Momoa in that outfit. We see him under the poster saying "Misa Spicy Larry." <laughs> Someone make that poster, please. <laughs>